I did mention you guys are getting a double whammy of episode reviews. It's going to be like this every week, every Sunday. So, yeah, let's get underway. Hello everyone, this is Mega Man NG, and we are back with another TMNT Season 1 episode review. Today we'll be talking about the episode, New Friend, Old Enemy. This is episode 4 of Season 1. And as I've already mentioned, you're getting two of these every week, and I will be reviewing every single one until we reach the end of Season 3. And when that happens, that's it, I'm done. So I'll be providing a summary of this episode, as well as some of the main points that I liked. Let's begin. On a night at the town, the turtles have fun until Mikey decides to return a cat to its owner. It backfires hilariously until he sees a photo of Chris Bradford on like a poster. Mikey wishes to prove that turtles can get along with humans, so he gets on a social networking site to befriend him. It goes well, only to realize that it's all a trap to get Mikey and the turtles. When Mikey gets captured, can his brothers be able to save him and take down Bradford and his cohort Zever? Yeah, this episode is Mikey focused, and him being mostly the party animal and the friendly type, it's an interesting way on how it goes about. But at the same time, you realize that being all happy and active can lead to some pretty disastrous results. Hence why in one scene when he tries to return a cat, it led to something really funny and it was so hilarious I couldn't stop laughing. In addition, we also get our first battle between the Turtles and the Foot Clan. The Foot Clan are relentless, and as a group, they pretty much take down anybody. The Turtles didn't end well because they ended up getting their butts kicked. Well, almost until Mikey came in and up, like somewhat forced them to retreat. But in the end, it ended up pretty badly. This episode also gives us a full appearance of the Shredder. And as the Shredder, he is ruthless and relentless, unlike the other incarnations. And he is also voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson. Yeah, the same guy who voiced the 2012 Shredder, voiced the 87 Shredder. That's bonus points right there. But at the same time, we also get first appearances of Chris Bradford and Zever. And this is before they end up getting mutated into Dog Pound and Fish Face. And then later on, Dog Pound would be mutated again into Razar. Clancy Brown voices Chris Bradford, whereas Christian Lance voices Zever. Interestingly enough, Bradford looks like Chuck Norris. And no, I'm not going to be making a stupid Chuck Norris joke. If you want to make Chuck Norris jokes or trivia, do so in the comments. Not in here. I'm not doing it here. But there is one little bit of trivia that I will make regarding Bradford. Bradford's outfit when he tried to attack Mikey and the Turtles in the beginning is a nod of the Mirage Shredder. The only thing would have been missing would have been him with the Shredder helmet. That would have been pretty interesting, but at the same time... Pretty good job by the guys behind the show. They really put some good nods in here and there. It's really good. I really liked it. And Mikey's hilarity is one of the highlights of the episode. I mean, come on. Anytime Mikey's in there, it just makes the episode so much funnier. And this episode is filled with funny moments. Mikey steals, steals the show, I swear. He steals it and makes it so enjoyable. It really is. And even though he is kind of funny... He eventually realizes that, well, he kind of made a mistake. We also do get another bit of a flashback scene, although it was a minor scene, seeing Oroku Saki beat down Hamato Yoshi, using a move that Michelangelo taught them, and it kind of got Splinter really shocked and upset. And you can obviously tell why at the end of the episode, because, yeah, Shredder now knows that Splinter is alive, as well as the Turtles. This could mean that the fight is only going to get worse from here. But overall, I really liked the episode. There was another favorite moment I liked. At the end, there was like this big fight scene. But before that, I liked that it went full on Metal Gear with the Turtles actually taking down most of the foot in terms of stealth. It is amazing. And I really like the atmosphere they added to it. And then it followed up with a big fight scene and it was crazy. It was just nuts. I loved it big time. It was a pretty good episode, and the humor really propelled it up. I really enjoyed it big time. Not to mention, the action was great. We get to see some new characters, and these characters are going to last quite a while. Trust me, they are going to last quite a while. Remember, this is season one, and it won't be long before they end up changing things up. So, I give this episode a nine. I love it. It's another good one. I really am enjoying it big time. Whereas last week was focused on Raphael and his insecurities and anger, this one is on Michelangelo, and of a different case where Michelangelo can pretty much, well, mess up at times. Especially since he's all the friendly type. 
but sometimes being friendly too much can lead to some problems. And I'm happy Michelangelo did learn his lesson. But why do I have this weird feeling that it's not going to end well? I don't really know for sure, but what I can say is that this episode was great. And next next week, I'm going to be reviewing two more episodes, starting with, I think his name is Baxter Stockman, followed by Metalhead. So look forward to these. I hope you guys are enjoying these episode reviews because you guys wanted me to review all the previous episodes of the TMNT series. I guess this is a way to prepare for the 2018 series that's going to be coming up next year. So... If you guys want me to do more of these, please show your support. They re it really does mean a lot. That'll be it for this episode review. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as last, I mean, rather earlier. And if you did enjoy this, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I will see you guys next time for more. This is Mega Man NG signing off. Peace out. Booyakasha!